What the Art Loss Register has done painstakingly over the last 30 years is uh, to create a database of lost and stolen and looted art. They did this with the backing in 1990 of the major auction houses, art dealers associations, antiquities dealers associations, and interestingly, the art insurance companies and syndicates in, in Lloyd's. They provided the backing for you know, this sort of experiment in, in, in governance effectively. Um, blue chip backing, which, which was good, and over the last 30 years, Julian Radcliffe has uh, changed the norms around due diligence in the art market so that now it's almost impossible to claim that you've bought or sold something in good faith unless you have searched the art loss register and they have given you a clean certificate of health. 